Yeah, Lindell is it, it's mostly good. There's probably some items in places that I actually. Yeah, I, I well after after I think Moog will look for some more because I I can think of a couple that I didn't get, but let's find something for Moog. Honestly, I could use the whip and then just like switch to something else after. The Nagakiba. Use that as like the main weapon. I don't want to use rivers. Like that's the obvious. Like oh, it's a rivers of blood. You know, everyone uses rivers, dude. I could just run with the whip. I mean, it's already at plus six. I upgraded it to plus six because like I figured, you know, we'd be using it for a while. But I don't mind parting with it. Yeah, maybe we'll just use this. Oh, I should. Whatever. I was gonna buy smithing stones, but I forgot. Like I like the bleed on the whip. Don't get me wrong, but it's just I don't know. It's kind of slow. It has good range though. Should maybe go Lord of Blood's Exaltation here, too. I think that's just probably a good thing for this fight. If I can find it. There we go. He's going to do bleed. I'm going to do bleed. Everyone gets more damage. It is weird fighting Moog to, like, not his music, though. I'm not going to lie. Fighting Moog to Godfrey's spirit, Godfrey's music. Very strange. I can actually hit him with this too, which is nice. When he does the uh, blood rain or whatever. Why does it take so long to heal? didn't dodge that because I was I don't know I wasn't looking at him I don't know why I've never seen him do the stab after the the two sideways swings I don't think I have anyway So much fire everywhere. <laughs>
going way better than yesterday. That's for sure. But this weapon's better than both the ones I was using yesterday. Ow! Dude, what is up with the, like the 10 FPS all of a sudden? Like the one reason I can't wait for this fight to be over is because the FPS is just so bad in this room. Stuck? It's fine. Oh, uh, okay, true. The right move. Also, Moog being the first out of Lauren. Would be, uh, I think, I think we'd have a very different game. We'd have, like, Bloodborne, basically. In an open-world setting. And the bleed. Smithing, somber smithing stone seven and a five silver fireflies. Wow. All right, so we got to toss this weapon. I think I'm going to go upgrade the Nagakiba. We'll use this for a bit. I'll probably bring this, yeah, I'm guessing, plus six, maybe? Or uh, is this, I don't remember if this is um, somber or smithing stone. Either way, we can do plus six. Then we just gotta beat Morgoth. I should probably upgrade something else too, for Morgoth. Smithing stone. Okay. So we get a plus something. I think 18 is good. And B plus six. Yeah. Then we'll upgrade something else. Well, let's take a look. Back all no matter. Somber weapon, I'm thinking. Something for Morgoth. Crystal sword, maybe? Doesn't really matter, it's just we need something for that boss, whatever it is. Kinda wish I knew what it was, to be honest, before we uh, decided on something, though. Hand axe. I'm gonna save the finger for a bit. No, we're not gonna use that yet. Uh, maybe we do the crystal sword. Plus four, I think. Well, we'll probably be fine. Hopefully. So there's some other stuff we can explore after Godfrey. Or, you know, Moog. We can take that elevator down. I think there's like a whole other path. There's a path to the Scarab and the Crucible Knight. Uh, and then there's some items up above too. Oh, we should level though. Can I level? I need like 2k. I don't even know where to put this. Strength or dex, I think we had said. Because with the source heal, we can use, like, almost use a couple more weapons. I think strength. I think we're going to do strength. I think we wanted it to 30. 
There's 37? Oh, I don't remember now. No, 30, 34. And we're at 32 with the sword seal. This is a very long katana. Oh yeah, we need to get the uh, Bolt of Grintax too. Or, you know, the... Whatever item is there, anyway. We're not gonna do the statue. I do not have anywhere near 37 int. Again, I don't even know if I have a lot of regression. It's an incantation, I believe. Oh, I do. But I don't have enough into with like any items or talismans, so we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't know if they move or not. Uh, Gold mask and Orin. I'm not sure if they move if you don't tell them Radagon is America and vice versa. So what's the Crucible Knight, I wonder? It is a marionette. Scarab, where are you? Does it not come back down? Does it just go in a circle right here? Oh my god, I hate this thing. Yeah, I think it does. Ah, oh, this is annoying. Just looking for any other items that might be up there, but I don't know. I know that there's definitely stuff I missed here, but like I'm not too concerned. Oh, we'll get the we'll get the Baltic Grand Sacks. I did say we would do that. You just jump down right here. Or is there another way to do this? Oh, I missed, like, a lot of stuff, apparently. Where was the platform? That orb I don't like. Ah, oh, it's just a white item, too, and I fell anyways, so well, that's cool, I guess. I didn't come in here. This is actually one area I meant to go to. I guess we'll just do it now. I don't even know if there's anything here. Oh, this is how you get to the ladder. I thought there was an item here. On the roof, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Well, that sucks, though, man. I don't know how I fell off of that. I don't think it's going to be a good item anyways, but... Still want to see what it is. Then we can fight the other boss, and then we can go to the mountaintops, and things get miserable there. Because we have to find the bell bearings. Which means we're gonna have to scour probably the snowfield and the mountaintops. I don't know where like any of the items are there. There's so much I have not explored. They're probably in important locations, though. I, I think the bell bearings are 
tied to important locations. At least the smithing stone ones and probably the grave glover ones too. I think the rest of the bell bearings though in the game are just kind of anywhere. But every smithing stone bell bearing, grave glove word bell bearing, I think has been on a boss this playthrough. And that could just be a coincidence. I don't really know, but I, I feel like it's intended. What? I don't know why you slide off that. I'll get this item too, I guess. Fire grease and fire grease. I feel like there was um, actually one more section I wanted to go up to, and I think I remember how to get there. Kind of. Maybe not. But we're going to try. And then we'll go fight the boss. I don't think we're getting 11 bosses done today. We've been, we've, like, the pace is pretty good the last few streams, but... Um, Langdale is just massive. Take some time to explore. We'll still get like seven, maybe, but if we kept up with like 11 a day, we'd be done by Friday. Like we did 11 in two hours on or yesterday. This is like the fifth rune arc I've had in the capital in the sewers. Once we're done with Fell Twins, we'll be 30 bosses away. And getting to the bosses in the mountaintops isn't hard. It's just like, you know, it, they can be really tough kills. Like, we gotta, again, scour the entire area for bell bearings, which will take time. And we still need to find the Hailing Tree key one of the one of the key pieces and the bell bearings for all i know are locked behind the catac or the snowfield not the catacombs i was gonna say catacombs for some reason so if that's the case we're gonna be going versus snowfield bosses with plus six weapons or plus four maybe which is not good That's fine. Was there another item? I think I was running to another item. That's not fine. Actually, I think it is fine. I'm pretty close to that area. We still need the Dark Moon Ring. But as of right now, all of Limgrave is done. All of Kaelid is done. Hopefully Altus will be done soon. Yeah, it's like a couple hundred runes. Not even gonna bother trying for that. We got a butterfly. Okay, I think Altus or that. Well, I guess. Pretty much, right? Altus is pretty much done. Altus, Gelmir, Langdell. I just counted all as Altus. Aside from, you know, the two bosses we need, a couple of the items behind uh, Morgoth. We do need to go back. I gotta remember to do the um, Frenzied Flame area. After Morgoth. We'll do that, I think, right after Morgoth, and then we'll go to the mountaintops. Because there, there's an item... I know there's, like, items in the area where you do the jumping puzzle, but there's also an item in Deep Root that you can only access from behind Moog. All right, so we're going to do Crystal Sword plus four. Hopefully it's enough. I don't know what we're going to be fighting here, so. Oh, some items here, too. Not 
one here, apparently. Actually, I don't even know where, like, half of these are. I know there's a one, like, right up there. And I know there's just items scattered behind this fight, but I don't exactly know where. We got one here. So many golden runes. That item stumped me for so long. I thought you had to knock that down. But you literally can just walk right up to it and you get it. I don't think that enemy is going to drop anything. I can't even tell what that is. From here, it looks like a slug, but can't say for sure. Is there anything back here? No, that's just how you go down there. All right. We'll go there in a second. I love how there's a shortcut ladder here. Ooh, beast eye. I don't think that really... What, what is that even going to do here? Like... Is it going to just... Activate in its normal location? Or is it going to actually activate if something is... Going to drop death root? Yeah, I didn't realize you can just pick this up somehow. I never thought to pick it up. I just... I tried to knock it down. Can we see the boss from here? I don't see anything. That is a rat. What's this? Gold sewing needle. Okay, hopefully this is not something resistant to magic, because I think, like, half of this damage is magic. Eh, not quite. Maybe a two-third, or a third. Two-fifths, I don't know. I just looked at the numbers pretty quickly. Okay, is it a big boss? Can, can we even see it? I don't know. Falling Star Beast. Yeah, I don't know if this is resistant to magic. And I don't know if it's a fully grown Falling Star Beast or just a Falling Star Beast. Yeah, cutscene's the same. We've seen that. Falling Star Beast, the Omen King. It's a normal one. Item from Melina too. I don't want to fight this thing in the corner. You didn't sleep in? Oh, I slept in. <laughs> Don't think I slept in. The sleeping in's nice though. Can't blame ya. This thing's beefy, man. And this isn't even a full grown one either.
Um, nothing really noteworthy. Like, no key items or anything. But we're through the bosses at the sewers. There was a uh, flame chariot in the pipes in the sewers. That was fun. Actually, it was fine. It just it, the AI broke and it didn't do anything. But it was annoying because I had to fight it. And it took forever to kill. Because I, I literally couldn't go past it if I didn't kill it. It was just too big. I'm kind of surprised this hasn't been stacked yet. Oh, we actually did get, um, Radagon Scar Seal, or Sword Seal. Forgot about that. That was good. Oh, we found Rivers of Blood, too. 120k runes. And then we should get something here. I love how Morgoth's here now. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Allow me, you were unable. Allow me, you were unprevented. The thorn. A husk. The only way and become my pup. So I'd like to the flame then. There's a copy boss I've seen for literally like like speedrunners uh, <laughs> for that uh, that little speech there because you know you're just mashing a as fast as you can to get through it. Hey, right, what's a level? I guess endurance and strength, or just endurance. Is it seek seek lest? Yeah, kind of. It's a lot longer, though. So probably not quite, just because it's so much longer. Where are we going? Here. So Lanedale should be good, except for that... I don't know, there's a couple items. I know there's one of the sewers I missed, but again, that was through the chariot, and I'm not doing that. Then we have that invasion I can't do because it's broken. We're pretty good other than that. And we just kind of get past or out of Langdell. And now we actually get to the hard part of the run. We'll do the Fell Twins with, I don't know, something. I gotta probably level another weapon. The bosses in the Forbidden Lands actually might suck because the terrain, the Blackblade Kindred area isn't so bad, but like the Knight's Cavalry section is really, really just not ideal for fighting. So depending on the boss there, we might be in for a rough time. So 
Somber sevens, nice. Oh my god. And we got a hand on an item, of course. I don't think there's anything else there. This is cool. Fooled you. I don't know who I fooled. The lion, I guess. I would like to keep these runes. Honestly, should have probably gone and bought more smithing stones, but... Here we are. Oh, my God. I think it's a hazard to all trees everywhere. I'm kind of amazed I'm just outrunning him, though. Like, you'd think that a giant lion that just flies around would easily be able to catch you, but apparently not. Darius's letter. I don't remember what that is. Obviously something for her quest. Oh, this is so bad. No, oh, well, this is not great. I want to heal. I felt like if I healed that I would have died for sure. Okay, whatever. We're just going to keep moving. There's, there's nothing else there. I think there's a couple items on the bridge, and then you have the item down the elevator shaft. What are we gonna do for Fell Twins? Or whatever it ends up being. Is this Radon's Great Rune? That is uh, actually a very nice find. Night Cavalry, I hope not. Oh my god. I hate these guys. I gotta make that whole run again. <laughs> and I gotta wait for the elevator. Alright, I'm gonna send the elevator back down. I'm gonna start sending it down. This stretch is honestly like one of the most frustrating in the game for me. Because there's just no grace anywhere like between or on the Divine Tower path. It just sucks. Like, there's nothing here. There's nothing after you get through here. Also, I just remembered I got to go back down to Moog. I'll do that after this, since we're here. I'll do Fell Twins, then I'll do Moog, or some some order. I don't know. I want to get the Grace in the Forbidden Lands. Why are you still chasing me? Oh, oh, come on. I can't even do anything there, man. That's unfair. That's like a frame perfect hit by that thing. What does this do? Yeah, it's like impaling thrust but with the katana.
Oh yeah, we got the scarab that like grows ten sizes. Take that. What? Why did why did this thing turn and hit me? I guess because it could. Golden rune. Can't get enough golden runes. Go down and get the grace, then we'll come back up. Fight that boss. With, I don't know what. Should probably go level another weapon. I don't think I really am much leveled at this point. Kind of used everything. And I don't want to use this, not for. Oh, I forgot to do the. Hang on. I gotta ride the elevator again. Back down. There's two items. I think you're right in there. I can, it looks like there's a gap between the wall and the elevator. But, like, I don't know if you... If you can, like, just hug the wall there or what. Like, if you just hold forward, I don't know if you fall or... Or not. I don't know where it is here. Too high? Okay, we're good. I was worried that was too high. Actually, I might as well just hit this. Actually, I, you know, we need to go back here anyways. I got to level something. Probably, I should probably do three weapons. Three more weapons. For the three bosses in the Forbidden Lands and the... Well, two in the Forbidden Lands and then the Divine Bridge. I don't want to use this, so we're going to maybe... I don't know. The Crystal Sword wasn't bad. The Rotten Crystal Sword is probably better. Maybe lower damage, but it can rot. But I might want to save that at the same time. can use this. We could do... Maybe the Iron Grey Sword. Yeah. This is level to 12. You do the finger. Once I get the other build bearing, I'll do more than plus four. Need more smithing stones for these. So let's do a somber weapon. Do this. And then maybe we just go get more smithing stones. And use these runes up while we have them. Five, eleven, twenty-five, and twenty. So let's get another nineteen here. We get twenty-four in each. And then ten six 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 ten six. Okay. That's fine for now. Like somber weapons just go much farther. So let's get some of uh, how many of these can I get? 30? Let me get 12 of these. And 12 of these. 11 of these. So we can do another 3 of these. 
What does that leave us with? 2,000? New somber one. And then... Maybe a three. Yeah, somber is just... It, it's better, man. It's like straight up. They're not as, like, common in the world, but you only need one. As opposed to 12. To essentially go up the same amount of levels. Is They're just better. And probably cheaper to buy. Like, quite a bit. So let's go with... I don't even remember what I leveled. One, two... What was the third weapon? I actually don't know. Oh, the ring finger. Let's do this. I have no idea what's coming. I mean, I, I can't say I ever knew what was coming in any point of this playthrough. But we have three great runes now, which is good. We need four more still. And as far as I know, they're all going to be past here. I mean, we could get one off the boss, technically. That looks like... It... Oh, this is the wrong way. <laughs> I was wondering why the dude was so far away. Because that is not the right way. We got a rat... This was a freaky moment, too. That is a Knight's Cavalry. Called it. <laughs> Fell Cavalry. It's not moving, though. It is very spooky, though. In the dark, it's just like... Kind of weird, though, the lighting. It makes it look very bright. The depth perception here, though, is so bad because of the darkness. I hate it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to flick him at all. Too fast. Wonder where the walls are in this arena. You know, I wonder what this arena looks like when it's lit up. Nice roll. I still have the Lord of Blood's Exaltation on. Or actually, yeah, I do. Yeah. I'll take that off. Eventually. If I can get him off the horse, I'll try flicking him, but he's just too fast, I think. How many Knights Cavalries have we fought? <laughs> Like seven. Honestly, though, if you're doing an all-bosses run, that's actually pretty normal. You fight this thing so many times.
home. Did I miss? Yeah, the perception is so messed up here. Oh my god. Just like a sign of what's to come. Everything is going to be insanely tanky. When you don't upgrade. Like, we could upgrade. More, I mean. Fast like plus four, but... I don't really want to until I can find those bell bearings. Until I find them. But that's the goal next. As soon as we hit the mountaintops. Finally. Meet Peddler's Belt. Bearing. I don't even know what that one's for. Hey, that's all of Altus done. Altus, Langdell, Gelmir. All done. 135 bosses down. 30 more to go. For meat. Actually, I think it is for meat. I think you can, uh... It might be like... I don't know if it's raw meat dumplings, but... I don't think you're wrong. I wonder if Radon's Great Rune would even be worth using. Like, I, I never do, uh... I never use runes. Rune arcs, whatever. Godric's is, like, the only one actually worth using, in my opinion. Like, I don't know, Morgoth's, Morgoth's can come in handy. But, like... Radon's could come in handy here. Ah, eh, maybe not. I don't know. Infinite turtle neck meat. Yeah, I knew it was some sort of meat. I remember uh, looking at or like I think you can literally just hover over the bell bearing and it'll tell you. Yeah, this area I think is gonna suck. I think we'll run through it, look for items, and then we'll come back and we'll do the bosses once we uh, examine it a bit. Let's see if I can get a backstab. Oh, okay. Or, or I can't go up at all. Fifteen percent. Yeah, that sounds about right. I, I, it's not very much. I don't know if you can get in that skull. Oh, you can. No item here. There's a somber seven in the other one on the other side. I know that. Is it nighttime? I don't think it's nighttime. Yeah, that is true. I kind of forgot about that. Can't even use it if I wanted to. I just hope it doesn't impact the end of the game. That's like my only concern now. Like, I hope I can actually finish the game even though it's not in my inventory. And the game just thinks I have it. Because otherwise, like, there's nothing I can do at that point. You know? And I don't know when it cuts you off. I don't know when it's going to be like, hey, you can't beat the game. Because if it was, like, after 
Radon, not Radon, Ranagon, I mean, then I, that's fine. You know, we beat all the bosses. It's, can, I'll consider it done. We don't need to sit through the credits or anything. But if I can't fight Radagon or something, or if it cuts off before that, I mean, you know, nothing you can do about that, unfortunately. Melania's. Yeah, and you could, uh, like, once you hit Langdell, you can technically go activate it. Alright, what's this? Samur Ice Storm. I feel like there's gonna be items here I'm missing. The snow field is going to be probably one of the worst places to try and explore because there's just so much white out and you can't see anything. Plus, the fact that, like, items glow white doesn't really help either. And where the hell is this skull? That's a dragon. That is that the boss or is that just a random enemy? I actually don't know. I think it's a boss. Is it a Gail or Grail? I'm getting no boss bar, so I have no idea. Let me get this. It's one of the two. I just can't tell which. And we will use probably this. Who are you? Black Blade of Gil. Should be pretty easy. It's just basically going to be like fighting Grail, I think. I mean, they only have Black Blade Gargoyles. Plus dragons don't really wield blades. Nice. Oh my god. Magic blades. That's different. I like how I have a sword and I punch his eye <laughs> instead of using the sword. doing just stood there like charging up an attack and then doing nothing Torrent got roasted there how he teleported oh come on what is happening? <laughs> Jesus. Troll Knight Sword. Troll Knight Sword. What do we get? Crank Blade. Okay. Uh, let's throw on this then. Get a lot of runes for that. Wow. Might run through this again. Just to make sure there are no other items. Because I feel like there easily could be, and I just 
I didn't really explore it. Like, I hate exploring this, though. Because you can't see anything. For the most part, though, like, from software, I never put items in, like, locations that don't have anything. Really. Like, like they might have, there might not be, like, enemies or anything. Like, sometimes I'll put them in, like, a, a cemetery or something with, like, no enemies. Like, that happens, but, like, there's usually not an item placed where there's literally just, like, terrain. And nothing else. Usually. Maybe like trees or something. They'll put it at like the base of a tree, but. I don't know. That's just one thing I've noticed when I was on like my other saves where I was looking for all the items. 